Hi, hi, and welcome back to Roulette's Play Higarashi When They Cry. When we last left off, we played another extreme sport, I mean, club game, <laughs> and we were headed on our way home. Lena was given permission to caress Rika chan's head as much as she wanted, so they headed home together very pleased. Once again today, it was just Mion and I going home. Man, that was intense! I didn't know Kei-chan was so good at president! I was more surprised than anyone. If I was playing with guys, I wouldn't have been that strong. But still, it was pretty bad. Being carried off in a stretcher in that outfit will probably haunt me until the day I die. <laughs> but that's fine, isn't it? You were able to do something to boast about for ages, too! <sighs> Well, when she says it like that, we both smiled at each other. Oh, we meet again, Keiichi-kun. It was Tomatake-san. It felt like he had, I'd been running into him quite often. Hey, take any good pictures? Oh, well, a few. So, Tomatake-san suddenly leaned over and whispered into my ear. You sure get around. Today you already have a different girl? It's not like that. Hey, no need to hide it. It's important to get lots of experience when you're young. I felt like that needed out a... Right there. Because Tomatake-san let out such a crude laugh, Mion knew what we were talking about without even hearing his whispering. I've heard through the grapevine that Tomatake is quite the catch himself. Uh, no, that wasn't my intention. Sure, sure. Keep up the good work and take plenty of pictures. See ya. Mion seemed to really want to get rid of this lout quickly. From the way she spoke, it seemed as if Mion knew Tamatake-san quite well. How's the year treating you, mister? You staying up until the Watanagashi? <laughs> Yeah, I plan to. After photographing the festival, I plan on heading back to Tokyo. <laughs> Being a photographer sure is easy. Be sure to win some big award and become famous. You spent all your best years on photography after all. Uh, I don't think I'm that far gone. <laughs> don't they say men start developing their own unique flavor in their 30s? I have to say it, he's fucking ripped, alright? I think the ladies will be fine with that. <laughs> what does it matter what you taste like? That's so gross! <laughs> oh, look at the time! I need to head back to the end before it can start! Tomatake-san began to take his leave with a dry laugh. It did look like he was outmatched by Mion. Now then, I'll see you both at the festival! That wasn't awkward or anything. <laughs> After waving a hand cheerfully, Tomotake-san disappeared amongst the cries of the Higarashi. The way he's going, he probably won't ever get famous. I had him promise he'd display a picture of me if he ever opened up a gallery, but <laughs> I don't think that's ever happening. So you know Tomotake-san? Nope! I just made up all of these facts just to fuck with you. <laughs> Yeah, he's an acquaintance of sort, but you know how easy it is to tell who's an outsider. It sounded like you meet him all the time. tomotake san comes around Hinemazawa regularly. Uh, maybe two, three times a year? He says he's taking pictures of the seasonal scenery and the wild birds, but well, those photos are really nothing to phone home about. Wow, Mion, you're kind of a dick. <laughs> The Tomotake-san I knew was more mysterious. Woo! The words flowed naturally from my mouth. I wonder if he's really here to take pictures of birds. Mion stared blankly at me as if to say, why do you say that? It just seems he's here for something other than taking pictures, I think. Don't you get that feeling? Like about that incident, the dismemberment. Oh, you too? If so, you've got good instincts, Gei-chan. She agreed with what I thought, but was quite chipper in how she said it. You knew about it then, Mion? 
Of course! He might be able to pull one over on everyone else, but he can't fool this old man! Mion was posturing pretentiously, but I had easily come to a very different conclusion from what she was imagining. It felt like all apprehensions I had about Tomotake-san disappeared, lifting a burden off my shoulders. I was finally able to appreciate how clear the evening sky over Hinamazawa was. Ah. <sighs> I exhaled everything in my lungs and inhaled just as much. It smelled like dusk and potential sinus problems. <laughs> what is it, Kei-chan? It's just that... I never thought the cries that Higurashi could feel this good. <laughs> What's gotten into you all of a sudden, Gei-chan? We both continued to giggle, not knowing why. I tapped into my inner schoolgirl. I wonder what Reina's doing. I bet she's getting her fill of Rika-chan by now. Uh, she's probably in the middle of asking her over so she could treat her to dinner. It'd be great if she's able to take her home. Wonder. Rika chan is pretty good at that stuff. Yeah, I feel the same. That head petting penalty was probably from Rika chan, huh? I thought so too! The only one who could get away with patting his head is Rika chan after all. Just pointless chit chat. The hot day felt like it was being cooled down by the cries of Higurashi. You keep saying that, but it's not, okay? It's just the sun dipping on the horizon that causes the cooling of the air, okay? The cicadas have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, a fate worse than death. I guess that was the petting thing. Is the fate worse than death, maybe? A few days had passed since the incident. During that time, Either Mion was busy or Rika-chan had to help with the festival preparation, so we couldn't get everybody together for club activities. Even though I thought I would never want to participate again, and after the years I shaved off my life each time, not having it only made my heart grow fonder. I really am not honest with myself. <laughs> wow! Who knew that they would have such a psychological breakthrough <laughs> from something as simple as a bullshit game, huh? As in, like, the game of cards bullshit, not as in the game itself is bullshit. Hmm? Today we finally had our club activities again. These weren't the same old club activities. It was called Watanagashi Five Demon Firefight. And it was one of the biggest events of the club. Keichi! Does this yukata still fit you? Can you try it on for a second? Mom pulled out an old dusty yukata. No, I don't need a yukata. Those are embarrassing. I'll just go in my normal clothes. But this is a festival. Wear it, okay? Right now the others said regular clothes are just fine. If I was the only one wearing a yukata, it'd be even more embarrassing. I put on the same old vest as usual. I'll be going with Reina and the others, so you don't need to worry about me. Is that so? I'll be going with Dad when he wakes up. Dad let out a loud snore from the sofa. Uh, from how it looks, he must have pulled an all-nighter last night. He just finished sending in his manuscript, so he might not wake up for a while. It seems my dad writes for art magazines sometimes, too. I've never read it, though. I wonder if my dad is a really famous artist. Since his own son is saying something like that, I can't imagine he's selling all that well. But he's able to feed a family of three, and my life isn't exactly full of hardships. It could be that he's some master painter, and I didn't know about it. Ding dong. <laughs> Gejiku, are you home? Uh-oh, it was already time. I didn't want them coming here, so I was planning on leaving early and waiting outside. Oh my, it's Reina-chan! Thank you for always looking after Keiichi. Uh, uh ma'am, he's also been looking out, out for... Why are you blushing just from meeting my mom? Don't get all flustered. It really doesn't feel right. Let's go, Reina. 
Since Reyna would continue to space out if I left her here, I grabbed her hand and dragged her out. Reyna-chan, look after Keiichi for me! Huh? Yes, ma'am! Even if it means I must sacrifice myself! Then why don't you just do it right now? She waved back even as I was dragging her away. Okay, Gay-chan! You hungry today? We'll take care of that at these stalls! You thought I'd let myself get full knowing the club activities would involve the stalls? <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way! Where are Rika-chan and Sotoko? Are they already at the temple? Yeah, Rika-chan's a festival committee member after all. Sotoko is probably with her as well. I see. Alright. Let's make some noise today. Yeah! <laughs> we were already in high spirits with just the three of us there. It was way more lively at the Furute Shrine than the last time I came, far exceeding my expectations. Throngs of people were crammed between rows of market stalls, lined with colorful paper and lanterns. That lady there, she bought a hula hoop. I don't know why, but she did. <laughs> Despite that, it was actually quite enjoyable. There sure are a lot of people here. I can't believe they all live in Hinamazawa. So when they're like, oh, they don't. <laughs> Everybody attends the Watanagashi. I think about half the village is here. <laughs> it's not just that. Municipal and youth councils from neighboring towns and villages advertise this event as well. Oh, that's right. There aren't that many students at our school, but there's a lot of kids here today. It just doesn't feel like a festival unless there are kids running around after all. That's true, I agree. Hello! Good evening! <laughs> These two knew everybody we came across. Of course, I greeted them as well, but I still wasn't familiar with everyone left. Oh, Reina-chan! Thanks for the food you brought me a while back. My son loved it. He said it was delicious. Oh, it was nothing at all. I'm glad he liked it. Say hello to Kazuma-kun for me, please. Hey! Me finish in Sonazake, oh, I'm in charge of a stand again this year, so make sure you come to visit! <laughs> Pops, have you gotten fatter? You'll end up having a heart attack with a gut like that! Oh, this kid here is new. Are you one of our underclassmen? Why am I British? <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my members, an upcoming hopeful. If you cross him, he could crush your stand in one night. Oh, you've got Little Missy's seal of approval, I see. Hope you take it easy on me. <laughs> As you can imagine, Mion was chatting away with the old guys running the stalls. Mi-chan is really energetic after all. She's really popular with the older men. I think Reina's pretty popular too, being cute and all. That was, of course, so long as her little condition didn't flare up. But as long as she's blushing quietly, she's pretty cute. Well, way to put your standards on her. Uh, I I'm popular with some people? Really? Really? With some people. I evaded her with a straight answer by roughly tousling her hair. Roughly tousling. Tousling. Roughly tousling her hair. The stall keepers come all the way from town. It's not really a festival without them after all. So we're gonna mess with them now? Uh, I don't care what kind of match it is. I'm gonna win it! Oh yes! <laughs> I'll try to! Hey! You're all very late! It's unacceptable to keep a lady waiting, Geiji-san! Oh, my bad. So where is this lady I've kept waiting? What did you just say? <laughs> Alright. Satoka was in top form as well. Seems she was all excited about being able to get everybody in the club together for the first time in a while. Aww, Rika chan <laughs> Lena let out an elated sigh. It seemed that the real lady had made her appearance. Huh? Good evening, everyone. Good evening to Keiichi as well. Oh, 
Looking good! You're looking sharp again this year! Anika Chan was wearing a Shrine Maiden outfit. Yup. Reina's little outburst was completely understandable. Rika Chan's clothes sure look like the real deal. Is that a real Shrine Maiden outfit? My grandmother made them by hand. They're quite authentic. Rika Chan has an important task to do at the end of the festival, so she's wearing this. I see. Rika Chan was on the executive committee because she performed all the Shrine Maiden rituals for the festival. My work is only during the finale of the festival, so I can still play for a while. But we cannot afford to waste any time! Let us begin! Alright! All right. <laughs> <laughs> it felt good to wander around the festival with just the five of us. Mion called everyone over to a stand that caught her attention and proposed a rather odd competition. Takoyaki eating race! Takoyaki eating race! Everyone has to buy their own! Ready? Go! Aw, oh, some takoyaki. <laughs> Damn it, this is making me hungry. A standard in vendor stalls, the takoyaki stand. What was especially standard for these kind of events was the fact that they were simply balls of dough. Takoyaki in name only. It burns! Are you okay, Keiichi-kun? Have some water! My, my! Eating those scalding takoyaki holy is suicide! And I guess the trick is to buy the ready-made ones that have been left there for a while. They really don't taste good. The stall next to it was a shaved ice stand. I can actually make one of those if I wanted. <laughs> I have, I have one of those machines in the kitchen. I don't have a lot of things that I should have in a kitchen, but I do have that. <laughs> I have my priority straight. It was still a bit too early in the season for that, but right then it didn't matter. Let's do shaved ice this time! It's a shaved ice eating race! Ready? Go! Sh shaved ice eating, eating race? I, I can't! As long as you can melt it a bit with your body heat then. It's, it's so cold! Not smart! This old man ordered it with plenty of syrup! It'll melt quickly when it's mixed up. Those stooges were too late. The moment they chose to tackle it head on was their downfall. Whew. Finished! Okay, Chan is done. That was too fast. It, it couldn't be. Cage, you didn't add water from the goldfish tank behind you, did you? That can't taste very good. <laughs> Next <laughs> Next to that was another old favorite A cotton candy stand Ooh. Why don't we do this one next Of course It's a speed eating contest uh, How do you eat cotton candy quickly How You choke <laughs> On Sotoko's mark Mio and Sotoko and I all compressed the cotton candy With their bare hands the time it took to stick the whole thing in our mouth? Three seconds. <laughs> I expected Sudoku to figure it out, but I didn't think k Cham would too. I can't have you treating me like I'm a newbie forever, can I? It won't taste very good. <laughs> but Ika chan had also crushed it between her hands and stuck it in her mouth. This is probably the only place in Japan where people eat cotton candy like this. I think only Irena's cotton candy was happy with how it was eaten, but it felt like we'd end up doing stuff like eat noodles through the nose contest or human water pump at the goldfish scoop at the rate things were going. This old man will probably still win too. I am simply no match for me on sound when it comes to eating repulsive things. Yeah, seriously. 
What's up with you guys? Are you telling me you don't want to have a blue Hawaii top yakisoba eating contest? Shake, shake. Both Satoko and I shook our heads in unison. Fuck no! That actually sounds really gross. Um, can we have a game that doesn't involve food this time? Can we? Reina's proposal was a godsend. It's about time we played a different kind of game. It also seemed like neither Reina nor Rika-chan were any good at speed eating or gorging themselves. Okay, Reina. I'll let you pick out the next game. Anything is fine. Well then. Um, well then. I'm, I'm gonna be the judge. Find cute things at the festival grounds. You have one minute. Fine by me. I know exactly what Reina likes. <laughs> Alright! I think I can win with that. Ready? Go! Oh? Why are Keichikun and Rika chan starting? Why not? Mion and Sotoko dashed off madly, but Rika chan and I calmly stayed right where we are. Could it be you've already found it? The cute thing? We've already found it. Keiichi too, right? Yeah. What is it? What is it? I can't wait! Both Rika-chan and I stood motionless for those few moments before Mion and Satoko returned. This is probably the first time we've gone head-to-head -head like this. It will be the first. Rika-chan, you expect to win with that, huh? I am a member of this club as well. Win by any means is our society's third rule. Rika Chan see her to the best of her ability. You're on. Both Mion and Sotoko came back, each with their own plan of attack stuffed in their arms. Okay then, okay. Let's go in order. Let's start with the club president, Michan. <laughs> Too bad you guys are ending this now. This old man brought this. Where did she get those? They were old tin diamond shaped signs. Pleb curry, snake coil incense, and oronamen si. How about this? That's very understated. A little too understated, Mion. I used to see those stuck up on barbed wire fences. They were more nostalgic than cute. Can you explain what part of that is cute? They were puffs of smoke. Noisily shooting out of Reina's ears and nose, almost like a steam train. I, I, I don't get it. I shall be up next. It's this. It was a hand-drawn poster from the Lady Society roasted corn stall. It was a really bad sketch done by a housewife. An anthropomorphic roasted corn drawn without any sort of real plan. Its very existence invited a sense of sorrow to the viewer. <laughs> that was the sound of blood jutting out of Reyna's nose. It seemed to have been rated higher than Mion's. I really didn't get it. It feels like your artistic sense is a little avant-garde by about five eons. <laughs> <laughs> Those were nothing but mass-produced signs, after all. They had no chance to get something hand-drawn. I couldn't even begin to follow the way these guys were thinking. Then I will be next. Next is... Next is Rika-chan, is it? What can you even do without anything? Did you and Satoko both forget? If Rika-chan felt like it, she could simply... After moving back about 10 yards, she began waddling up to Reina. Seeing that, both Mion and Sotoko gasped. Oh, oh no! Too late. Rikatan tripped over nothing and laid motionless after falling down. Reina hurried over to her. Rikatan, are you alright? Alright? Rikachan had a lump on her forehead and tears welled up in her eyes. Only her fingers peeked out from her sleeves. This was a vital part. The palms of her hands were covered by her sleeves. She made just a single sound. I completely forgotten about that. 
the plate that I personally had to use! Reyna's face went completely red, her head bobbing back and forth with excitement. She embraced Rika-chan and began rubbing her cheeks against her. I'd expect no less from her. Not a single element was overlooked. Loli! Shrine maiden! A shrine maiden! Brink of crying! Mew! It was perfect! A simple trip transcended into pure moe! This is what you call art. <laughs> Keijin has a pretty weird definition of art. <laughs> I'll just pretend the sharp sting of those words cutting through me like a razor was a figment of my imagination. Rika-chan turned her gaze to me with a daunting smile as she was caressed by Rina, who was full, who was in full cute mode. Now, Keiichi, can you beat me? That cold smile is frightening, Rika-chan. It may be just my imagination, but I see a demon inside of her sometimes. Foreshadowing? <laughs> Kei-chan seems to have his own plan of attack. I wonder what he's going to show her. I also wish to observe the play Kei-chi-san Kei will make. Could it be? Is Keiichi also going to give a performance? I basked in their pointed stares. I pulled Reina, who gave no sense of canceling out of cute mode away from Rika-chan. I'll show you something even cuter, so just hold on for now. Uh-huh? Uh, something even cuter? But it's a bit too crowded here. Let's go back there. Reina looked very surprised as I pulled her behind the shrine. I cannot fathom what Keiichi-san could possibly be planning. <laughs> this is Keiichi-chan, after all. N no it couldn't be. Keep on fighting. Yeah. Gambarua. <laughs> after a bit, I returned. And a bit after that, so did Reina, dragging her feet. There's... There's no way that scoundrel Kei-chan did something to innocent little Reina. Neon and Satoko passed by me, headed straight for Reina. Who? What exactly did he do to you? For a moment, Reina was too dazed to realize that someone was talking to her. <gasps> uh, oh, oh, it's Michan! Huh? Reina, are you alright? Did Keiichi chan do anything to you? No, he, he didn't do anything strange to me. Oh. Uh, this is quite severe. Exactly what did Keiichi-san show you? Oh, it was so cute! Ah! Cute? What did he show you, Reina? Reina let out a really long... Ah! Her eyes sparkled as she spoke. Cute, so cute! It was Keiichi's furry little seal! Wham! Womp! In the blink of an eye, Miyana Satoko's elbow smashed into my face. Huh? Huh? What? What? Showing Reina something so dirty? You sick pervert! I shall have you beaten to oblivion! Wait, you've got it all wrong! A dark billowing aura flowed from Miyana Satoko. It was no good. They are gonna kill me! Mi-chan, I'm not sure what's going on, but you've got it all wrong. You see, Keiichi could have. It's a fur seal keychain. Rika-chan stuck her hand into my pocket and pulled out my keychain. Huh? He said he made it long ago for one of his summer school assignments. He said he doesn't show it often because it's embarrassing. Yeah! So small and cute! He tried his best to make it it's so wonderful! Oh! This old man thought you meant it was, you know, 
Cage his cute little fur seal. <laughs> I'd expect no less from me, Ansan. You misconstrue things in the wildest ways. They slung insults at each other and looked like they were ready to tear into each other at any second. I beg of you. I'm in the clear. Would you mind getting off of me? We are interrupted by the flash of a camera. 